Hey y'all, Coach Unify here with another installment to our Channeling the Father playlist. And this one, this is a message that was given to Timothy back in 2006. Um, he goes into great detail about the, um, the day of the Lord. And he also talks about uh, repentance quite a bit in this, uh, um, in this message here. Um, so let's sit back and relax and see if we can get something out of these messages that our father sent for us all to enjoy. Go ahead and hit that like button. Be prepared to leave a comment as we go. Forecast and instructions from Jesus. Events, rapture, tribulation. Refinement and the day of the Lord. Excerpt of the Lord's message to Timothy from December 11, 2006. The Lord said, You are a very stiff-necked, hard-hearted people, a most rebellious generation. For as it is written, You draw near to me with your mouth and honor me with your lips, yet your hearts are far from me. Hypocrites, who do you serve? this world and all its adulteries against God, or God in spirit and in truth, set apart from this world. For as it is written, the day is coming and is already here, and the Father shall receive the worship he really wants. For only by the power of the Holy Spirit shall one worship God as he really is. Thus the first harvest shall indeed be lowly of the lowly, and the second plenteous of the refined and penitent. Repent, therefore, and humble yourselves, that you may escape all these things which must shortly come to pass. Repent, I say, repent in spirit and in truth, and now take up your cross and follow me. Yet, if you repent and then return to those things of which you have repented, endeavoring not to change, has not your repentance become unrepentance? My children, if you come before me repenting of your transgressions, in where you have not kept the moral law of the Father, and then continue in your transgression, forsaking the law, have you not committed an even greater evil? For you have made me the author of sin, saying, we are in Christ, we are free from the law. Desecration! Little children, hear me, you are free from the curse of the law, for you are indeed saved by grace, and now live because of me. Behold, even by my own spirit shall you keep the law, and though you are now free from the curse of the law, which is death, you are by no means free to break the law. Have I not said you are forgiven? Now go and sin no more. Therefore, if you continue to transgress and seek not to change your ways, you remain in unforgiveness, having lied to the Father in my name. Neither are you born again of the Spirit, for all those who truly repent receive of my Spirit and strive also to walk in my ways. This, beloved, is true repentance. My children, you grow too close to the tares, you are entangled. Uproot yourselves, therefore, and be planted in the good ground, where the latter rains are abundant and all crops are harvested in their due season. Beloved, walk with me as I am, and not as you would have me be, and you shall truly be set free. For only those who abide in me shall find respite, and only those in whom I see of myself shall be gathered up to heaven. Therefore walk in me, for I am the only way to salvation, the only way to follow. For I do not change. My word abides forever. I am the Lord. 